Alright guys, I get a lot of questions how to make push rods. These are the type of push rods that I make. I make these by myself at home uh, using music wire. This is from a local hobby shop. It's .055 inch diameter and it's just steel. It's, yeah, they call it music wire. It's really, really cheap. I get like a couple pieces of these at a time for like a buck or two and they're like three, four feet long. And then I turn it into this and all you need is a pair of needle nose pliers pair of wire cutters and then I use a, uh, a marker for, uh, for marking the distance. So all this is is the wire cut to the length you need with two Z bends in there. So to do that you start off with the, the wire. I'm going to use this other end. And to start off with you take your needle nose pliers and you grasp this at the very very tip and the very last teeth of the on those pliers. I think you can see it there. You hold on as tight as you can. I have to take it off camera here and then you put a 90 degree bend in that. So here's what I'm left with. And then you do that again but you grasp right here and you go right up to that first bend. As close as you can in the very last teeth of the needle nose pliers and then you do another 90 degree bend going that way away so you make a Z and the whole time you have to watch it and make sure that you're staying in the same plane or else it won't line up so here's what I've got you can see I was off a little bit see how this is angled down I wasn't being extremely careful there because I'm just doing this for demonstration but you gotta be really aware of that so there's that and so now, I um, actually just made some control or some push rods for my FPV60. I'm putting some final touches on this. So now, to, to size these, what you do is you hook it in the control horn for the servo. I'm just going to kind of show how you do this. And you come down here to this control horn, and then you, or the servo arm to the control horn, and then you, I mark right here where the hole is and then that is where your second bend is going to be. So, now, just to save on, to save myself some wire, I'm not going to make it that long, I'm just going to make it a short one. So then, say my mark is right here, you grab and you do the same thing, two Z bends. The whole time paying attention to your orientation and keeping it all in the same plane. So you're grabbing it right at the tip of the needle nose pliers, 90 degree bend, grab right in the, right up next to that, to the first bend again, so then you get something looking like this. And that's basically it. Then I've got all the extra wire down here. I've got this, so you take your wire cutters and you trim it really close up in here. And That's that. Here's what you're left with. And this is a perfect control horn. This is what I use on all my planes. I can size them to the exact size that I want for every application. And then and it's really cheap. I mean, this just costs, this is probably like, <laughs> I don't know, a nickel worth of supplies here. And so there are wire Z benders you can get, but I just found just using needle nose pliers and a pair of wire cutters. It, works perfectly fine. So that's how I do mine. It's a really cheap way and I hope this helps. Alright, thanks for watching and stay tuned. This FPV60 is going to be done soon. Hoping to mend tomorrow morning.